veteran just went up in flames outside Capitol after what Obama did to him for eight years. The man who used fireworks and improvised explosives to set himself on fire outside the Georgia State Capitol building on Tuesday has been identified as a homeless Air Force veteran who was distraught because of the treatment he had received at the VA hospital after eight long years of neglect under Barack Hussein Obama as president. The veteran was later identified as John Michael Wants, 58, who has no current address according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Although authorities did not confirm any specific grievances Watts was being treated at Grady Memorial Hospital with burns over 85-90% of his body before he passed away was with the VA. Fox 5 in Atlanta reported. A disgruntled veteran set himself on fire in protest Tuesday outside the Georgia Capitol in downtown Atlanta, according to the Georgia State Patrol. Authorities said veteran John Michael Watts, 58 who was protesting his treatment by the VA, used a combination of fireworks and gasoline to set himself on fire. A spokesperson for the Georgia State Patrol said officers quickly extinguished the man. Medics rushed him to Grady Memorial Hospital by ambulance. The spokesperson said no one else was hurt. The incident happened during a live feed around 10.45 a.m. which was streaming on the Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page of an unrelated news conference. The news conference was stopped as state troopers participating in the news conference rushed to the area from where the explosions came. GSB troopers said the Air Force veteran from Mabelton Park in Nissan Sentra on Washington Street, stepped out of the car and walked toward the Capitol. We have somebody who claims to be a veteran that is disgruntled with treatment by the Virginia he was protesting that to the extent that he caused bodily harm to himself, Director of Georgia Public Safety Colonel Mark McDonough said. One man who witnessed it all said the whole turn of events made him nervous. By the time he got up to the Capitol, tried to go up the steps he couldn't make it. So I guess the cigarette fell over in the fireworks and it started exploding and I look back over there and he was on fire, witness Kent Beasley exclaimed. The Atlanta Police Department and Georgia Bureau of Investigation bomb technicians searched for hours for a secondary device. Around 4.50 p.m., Atlanta police gave the signal that no explosive devices were found in the veterans' Nissan Sentra. The state capitol and the judiciary building were evacuated for most of the day. The GSP said the Air Force veteran was upset by the way the Veterans Administration had treated him. The 58-year-old was burned over 90 percent of his body. He was listed in critical condition at Grady's burn unit as of Tuesday evening. Authorities said Watts does not have a current address. Military.com reported on changes at the VA since Trump was elected. Modest and low-key, Robert Wilkie was hastily dispatched to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs after a furious President Donald Trump fired Secretary David Shulkin amid political infighting at the department. He was taken aback when Trump made an impromptu offer of the permanent job at a public event in mid-May. If confirmed, the longtime public official could end up steering some of the biggest changes to veterans' health care in decades. A significant test comes Wednesday at his Senate hearing, where Democrats plan to question the Air Force and Navy veteran on his views on privatizing the government's second-largest department of 360,000 employees serving 9 million veterans. It's an issue that Shulkin says led to his ouster. How he chooses to navigate a Senate in which Republicans hold a 51-49 majority could go a long way in whether he delivers on Trump's promise to steer more patients to the private sector. The reach of a newly signed law to expand private care will depend on the VA secretary, who will have wide leeway in deciding when veterans can bypass the government-run Virginia with a growing risk of funding shortages. VA has never before been more vital, or more vulnerable, said Paul Reichoff founder and chief executive of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Mr. Wilkie will have to prove to millions of veterans nationwide that he is up to this mammoth, sacred leadership task. Sadly this veteran who set fire to himself on fire is probably also suffering from PTSD. And after eight years of neglect by the Obama administration, the VA system is in an even worse position to deal with cases like this. But under President Trump, things are starting to look up.
Last summer President Donald Trump made good on the campaign promise and signed into law legislation that gives leadership at the Department of Veterans Affairs more power to fire failed employees and protect those who uncover wrongdoing at the agency. The law, which had bipartisan support in both the Senate and House, came after years of stories about chaos inside the Virginia including multiple investigations during the Obama years that found dozens of veterans died or were seriously injured because of long wait times at hospitals across the country. Sadly things in the government don't happen overnight and it might still be years until we see the corruption in the VA system come to an end. But for the 